What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamesHeroes.com and I've got a quick go for you in Power World on how you can easily farm wool so you can get your high quality cloth and your normal cloth going. Now early on you're going to need a decent amount of cloth, it won't be too crazy. As you get further into the game you are going to need quite a large amount of high quality cloth. It's going to be involved in a lot of your repairs so you're going to need a regular supply. The best way I've found of doing this is doubling up one of your bases. So this is our main base, this is where most of our structures and stuff is. We have a secondary base, as a lot of people do for ore, so we have ours down here. Um, unfortunately, our pals are a bit buggy, so if we left a bunch of pals here doing the mining, they don't actually do it. So it was quicker for us just to come here and mine, so we got rid of all of those. And then what we did is we put down a bunch of farms, a bunch of ranches. This is what you got to do, you put down a ranch. I've got three down here. Um, it seems to work okay on a sort of three to four per ratio when I put... One in, it was a bit messy, a lot of them were getting stuck on stuff, so I put two or three and they're not too expensive to make. Um, this can go anywhere, it's just because farming is a very singular purpose, I recommend putting it somewhere that serves more than one roll. So this is where I come to get all my ore, that will fill up all my ore, I will put it in this box, then I will fast travel straight to the base over encumbered and drop it all off. So it makes the base have two uses, which makes it more effective, because you only get three bases max when you get a higher level. Then literally all you have to do is fill the entire place with farm animals so obviously for the wall you're going to want to fill it with sheep so we've got tons of sheep here including my uh four star shiny lamb bell that i'm quite proud of he uh he's got level two farming now which is pretty cool so these are mostly just sheep and then all you have to do is have a food supply now it's up to you how you want to do this you can just come over and drop food in if you want to it's up to you most of the time as you can see here they've got 2145 eggs in here with just a couple of chickens so normally just the chickens will be enough to keep it going, but I like to have an extra bit of food just in case. So I've put down a couple of berry spots and a wheat spot, and then you just need the powers that are gonna look after that. So I've got these guys here to plant and harvest, and then I've got Mr. Penguin Man here that will water them and then occasionally mine for me as well. Um, an additional little bonus to this one, if you can get your hands on a woolly pop, these aren't too rare, um, that has a candy pop passive skill, which will sometimes drop cotton candy, which is a food you can give that has no expiration date and increases sanity a little bit. So if some of your guys are buggy or they're constantly getting lowered sanity, that can help you out a little bit. So just to clarify, this is what you want on your sheep. Sometimes drops wool when assigned to the ranch. Now with these ones here, um, this is plenty more than enough. You will get two or 300 every, every time you pop back here. I think at the moment I've just got about a thousand from doing two or three trips. So just let it run for a little while. If like our server yours is bugged and the pals don't do work while you're there, um, it shouldn't apply to plows that are assigned to stuff. So if they're assigned to a uh, assembly line or a farm, they should still be fine. So you guys, nice and quick, nice and easy. Get what you need to get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe, we do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.